This is the Jacqueline Martian podcast, and I hate intros, so here we go. Go! There'd be some things, things that you'll come to learn about me in the next few days. I, I am never going to financially recover from this. Why I'm too afraid to ask. When they say 2% milk, I don't know what the other 98% is. Today, I would like to talk about the ocean and why people keep going to it. The ocean is not like a lake even if the lake is grand. I say this because I went to Crater Lake once, and maybe it was just me, but I was mesmerized only for about eight seconds. And it was cool, don't get me wrong, but it was just like sitting by any other lake. It wasn't alive. But the coastline has its own type of captivation because you never see the same ocean twice. When I visit the Oregon coast, notice how I didn't call it the beach, I am equally mesmerized as the last time I was there, but I still show up knowing that. It's a two hour drive from my house, but it's just a thing to do and a way to spend the afternoon successfully. You can find me usually with shoes on because the soft sand is usually met with a fierce breeze. I sport a sweatshirt as well because as I said, Oregon does not have a beach, but it, what it does have is a lot of water. Water that has climbed over mountains and slid down streams into pools and lakes, danced its way through the root systems and springs just to trickle back into the waves that torture it, toss it, tangle it all the way back through the crashing shore again. From there, it starts over again, but not the same way, never the same way twice. It could begin as a snowflake from the Alps, the Cascades, the Rockies, the Himalayas, and every mountaintop in between. The winds will push and pull in new friendly waves, and the rivers will roar with new droplets every day. Streams will show up silently. Rain will create a journey that no drop can predict. Some will fall right back into the ocean, while others will be poured into my glass. Life is only considered life because of the journeys we all take. That's why they say water is life. Nobody knows where you're going to be in a year from now, so why would the water droplets? Why is it always there, always crashing, always boundlessly beautiful and pleasantly powerful? The same reason I go to the coast, because we are captivating. I have met new people, heard new stories, had more laughs than ever before. My hair may have not changed, but my perspective sure has. I have cried, collected new scars, let some fires burn out, and most importantly, lived more life. No matter if it's been a day or a year, you can never visit the same ocean twice because that's not the same ocean and I'm not the same person. I am equally captivated by the sea that sure knows how to impress. I just try to do the same.